Antonio Gibson is one of the most intriguing prospects in the 2020 NFL Draft. The former Memphis Tiger only played one year of consistent football in college, and there's great uncertainty over what position he plays. However, what is certain is that Gibson is one of the most athletic and exciting players in the draft. This is the story of Antonio Gibson. Gibson starred in football and basketball at Eagles Landing High School in Metro Atlanta. There, he earned Regional Offensive Player of the Year on the gridiron as a senior, as well as all region honors on the hardwood. He also placed third in the 100-meter dash in a state track meet. However, Antonio was not highly recruited coming out of high school and had to go the JUCO route. Gibson started his collegiate experience at East Central Community College in Mississippi, earning All-State honors in each of his two seasons there. After transferring to Memphis, Gibson initially struggled to earn playing time. After all, the Memphis backfield has been pretty crowded with talented players recently. His work on offense in his first season with Memphis was limited, as he only snagged six receptions for 99 yards and two touchdowns. But it did not take long for Gibson to get on NFL scouts' radar early in his senior campaign. Gibson was used primarily at wide receiver where he picked up 38 receptions for 735 yards and 8 TDs, good for an average of over 19 yards per catch. Gibson also earned midseason reps at running back, where he averaged over 11 yards per carry. He managed 33 carries for 369 yards and 4 touchdowns. If that wasn't enough, he also excelled as a kick returner averaging over 28 yards per return and taking one kick back to the house. He earned second team All-American Athletic Conference honors as a wideout, as well as AAC Co-Special Teams Player of the Year. His 14 career touchdowns on just 77 touches is incredible and demands serious attention. He played more slot than running back in college, but he was a runner in high school and has an intriguing combination of size, burst, vision, and power. I mean, Look at his performance at the Combine. In Indianapolis, Antonio Gibson was a top performer in the 40-yard dash and bench press. He ran a sub 4 40 while also putting up an impressive 16 reps of 225 pounds on the bench. Gibson probably projects to be a running back at the NFL level, given his smooth change of direction, quality contact balance, and dynamic cuts in the open field. Gibson will first contribute as a returner and third down back, and his wide receiver background will benefit teams willing to feature him as a pass catching back on routes split out wide and from the backfield. Overall, Gibson is a multifaceted playmaker with impressive production as a runner, receiver, and returner. He provides great versatility to his offense and can contribute in a variety of ways while introducing a level of unpredictability that could be difficult for defenses to account for. He has a tremendous blend of size and speed and is creative and elusive in the open field. He possesses wonderful vision in space and does a great job of setting up tacklers to make them miss. He showcases adequate ball skills and body control when given chances to catch the football. He also owns a thick, stocky frame that lets him break his share of tackles. While his lack of experience at running back limits his sample size as a blocker, it's safe to assume that his body and toughness would make him very formidable in that department. A walking big play, Gibson has home run hitting ability and an extremely high ceiling if his promising vision and feel continue to grow as he should be viewed as a potential starter by year three. He deserves real day two consideration and has the talent to be one of the most electric players in the NFL sooner rather than later. But now I switch it over to you. What are your thoughts on Antonio Gibson? Who do you think is the most underrated prospect in the NFL draft? What team do you believe that Gibson will be drafted by? Share the video with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RespectThePoint. Finally, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. That is all for this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.